guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and I'm finally doing a video breaking down my entire cinema rig. I've been asked so many times by so many people across my website, YouTube, Vimeo, all those places, how this thing is configured, what all is involved with it. Um, I've done reviews on most of the components, but I've never done a video kind of breaking down the actual thing as a whole. So we're gonna go ahead and take it apart piece, piece by piece show you each section and how it's put together. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Um, first, we have the map box. This is the Gen S PV. Um, you could use any map box, obviously, but I really like uh, Genesis stuff. And uh, this one in, in particular, because it has two filter stages, one rotating and is rod based. Um, I do also have the light, the light kit, which is really nice. I like that one a lot as well. So. That attaches to the front via rods. Now we're going to talk about the battery section back here. I've done a review on this guy. I um, really like it because you can use very standard and cheap Sony MP batteries. Um, so I like that a lot. Man, that sucker is down tight. Um, and while it works fairly well standing alone, it is a little loose, just a hair. So it wobbles just a little bit. So on the very back of the 15 millimeter rod setup, I have this little guy. It's a small rig, uh, 15 millimeter block. It just snaps on, um, and I use it for all kinds of different stuff. It's great because it has a little cheese plate. Um, so that's on the back, kind of supporting this whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. Um, I have two cables here. They both come with this unit. One is 7.2, I think it is, volts, and that's for the camera. The other is a 12 volt, and that is for the monitor. So I unplug both of those, and I'm going to Take this guy off, loosen it up. You can adjust the angle very easily. So that's that unit right there. Set that aside. And uh, next is the monitor setup. I've done a video on how I built this EVF mount. It's just a custom one with various little parts I had lying around. So I'm gonna unplug the power and the HDMI on the monitor and take that off. I have that on here. Um, via a cold shoe and I like that you could hard mount it I just like it because I can take it off that easily throw it on another camera if I need to and uh, I can rotate it around if I need to operate from the side for whatever reason so that's the small HD DP4 love this guy um, perfect size for me really enjoy the 4.3 inch size set that aside so now I have a gazillion cables here and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rod, which is a part of the EVF setup. So I'll link to all the videos of these different parts underneath this video on my website. So definitely go to dslrvideoshooter.com and check that out. Um, now we're down to the cage and the rods. I'm gonna take the rods off. Um, these are, I've had these rods forever. These are from Red Rock Micro. That's really on there tight. And um, I like them a lot. They're great because they're rigid. They're, uh, you can do the carbon fiber. It's a lot lighter, but I much prefer a really rigid setup. And especially since these rods aren't really long, you know, I'm okay with dealing with the extra weight. Um, they're really basic. There's no threads on them. They're just 12 inches. And uh, that seems to be the perfect size for um, you know, this kind of configuration. I can still put the handles on the front and do shoulder mounted stuff. Um, great size. So those are out of the way. Um, I've got all these cables attached here because it's wired into the camera. But uh, now we have just the cage and at the bottom of the cage we have this 15 millimeter piece and that easily detaches like so. That's this guy right here and uh, that comes with the kit of the wooden camera cage. Um, you can buy the cage without it but uh, this allows you to attach rods to the cage and it's great because I can grab the whole camera off of the rods um, and that's going to allow me to do a lot of handheld stuff and running around and then I can leave the map box, you know, the power solution and um, the actual uh, rod base all behind on the tripod. So everything you see here comes with that one kit from Wooden Camera and then at the bottom I have my Manfrotto plate. So let's set that aside. And now we're just down to the basic cage. Um, the only addition you'll notice on the cage here is the wooden camera A box. I don't always use this. You're not gonna get as good quality going straight into the camera via this box. 
Um, it would work much better with um, cameras with better preamps. Um, but it's so small and minimal that it works really well with the cage if I need to, in a pinch, do that. So I have that attached to the rod that is attached to the actual cage itself. The only other thing you see is this little piece right here on the handle. That is so I can set up the EVF mount. So that's it, you know, it's really just the wooden camera cage, 12 inch rods, a map box, this um, power unit that does the conversion from Sony MPF batteries to the Canon body, and then the monitor. And uh, attached obviously to the monitor is the custom EVF. So that's it guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, you'll be able to find all the different reviews and all the different pieces in detail in their own videos at dslrvideoshooter.com. I'll see you in the next video.